bought a tent and it leaks. Let's fix it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures of Spackman. Today, we're fixing a leaky tent. You want a chance to win this tent? Check out the description down below. Me and my buddy Justin are giving three hot tents away this holiday season. So if you want a chance to win this one and two other ones, check out the description down below for your chance. Now let's fix this tent and see if it's waterproof now. So the first thing you want to do is locate where your tent is leaking. You can do this many ways. You can let mother nature take its course and test it in the rain or the snow. Or you can set up the Spackman water torture test and test it in your backyard. That's what we're doing today. Last weekend I tested this tent out and I found a leak on this seam and this seam over the door. Where's that coming from? Oh, this is wet right here. So it's it is coming in right here. Actually, you can see a puddle right there. So the door, it is right here, this seam right here where it's leaking. Going up to the vent, the, the vent seam. Coming down to where the crotch of the door meets that seam. That's where it's leaking right there. So I went ahead and I sealed all that up. I ended up using a seam sealer product and with that product I used a sponge brush and I found that that worked very well for spreading it around. Better than the bristles that came with the bottle itself. So I ended up working it into the seam the best I could with that foam brush and came over and did above the door as well. And then after that the stove jack was leaking too so I came over and I sealed the top se seam of the stove jack, the side seams and then this top seam here in hopes that it will waterproof the stove jack flap. So if you ended up testing your tent to see where it leaks, the first step you have to do is let your tent dry. You can just let it sit in your yard, set up until it dries out, or you can bring it inside for faster results. I hung mine up in my shower. I just tied the loop right here to my shower curtain rod and just let it dry. And then I found a clean surface to set the tent on and I sealed the seams. Now if you don't go with finding a seam that leaks and you just purchase a tent and you want to seal the whole thing first, I found setting it up first to seal it is pretty easy and that works pretty well. Or you could do it somewhere where you can set the tent out flat and seal all the seams one by one that way. So now that I have this all sealed up, well sealed up, we're going to test that today. I'm going to start the water for the Spackman water torture test. You guys know the deal. I'm going to set it up for an hour time lapse. I'll check in at the 30 minute mark, see how it's doing, and then get back with you at the hour mark and give you my final thoughts on how to seal up this tent. It's a little windy today too. I'm really only worried about testing the door and the stove jack flap, and that looks like it's getting plenty of water. So let's set up the time lapse and get this test going. All right, it's been an hour. Let's go check out the tent. Ta-da! No leak. This seam is fixed, guys. We fixed that seam. Look at the water just pour down it, too. All right, let's check the stove jack. That's dry, too, guys. That is dry. That hand is soaked. This one's dry. Awesome. Awesome. We fixed it. So if you guys want a chance to win this tent, check out the description down below. If you like this sort of thing, think about hitting that subscribe button. I'll leave it right here in the middle. And here's a couple videos that you can check out if you're interested. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.